TV troops to go Vanessa back again with another video how you guys are doing hope you guys are having a great day it is Saturday right now um, and welcome to our channel if you're new you know what to do hit that subscribe button hit that post notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos you got over here case and playing with his toys I just finished taking out his hair right now so if you're wondering yeah his hair grew tremendously, guys. Kaysen, you want to say hi? <laughs> He's watching the show right now. He's watching Miss Rachel. So I just finished taking out his hair, and we're technically going to be going outside. Uh, we're most likely heading downtown is the plan. So if you guys haven't seen downtown Montreal, or oh, this is the vlog, you're going to be seeing a bit of downtown Montreal. I think we might go to the old port or we might go to a place called um, Bonaventure. So we'll see, we'll see. But stay tuned for that. Don't go nowhere. If you guys are interested, hop aboard. But comment down below how you guys are feeling, how you guys are having, how's your day going so far? I'll give you guys five seconds, you know? Keep it in. How you guys are having your day? Is you guys having a great day? How's your weather? Um, you know, not every day is a great day, but you just gotta kind of do what you gotta do to have a positive mindset. But we all human beings, we go up and down sometimes. But comment down below how you guys are feeling, health wise, mentally wise. You know, yeah. So, but it is the day that we are going downtown and we say you know what let's vlog it let's vlog going downtown montreal uh, i think we probably did it once it's been a long time we haven't gone back to, to um to that location we went chinatown one time that's downtown montreal as well we went to the old port maybe two or three times but we vlog it only once so we're going downtown and we're gonna vlog it and show you guys a bit of how it's like in the winter time you know for those who've never been to montreal at all well this is your chance to see a little bit of montreal downtown how it's like you know okay sis? so yeah so don't go nowhere we're about to get ready i'm about to put on my jacket put on case jacket right now and brands is in the back or in the kitchen and yeah so we're gonna do our thing and we'll see you guys in a few minutes Alright guys, as you can see, I got my jacket on. Kaysen got his jacket on. Still watching TV as you can tell. And you got over here. What's up baby troop? It's your guy Brian. As you can see, we're getting ready to do our thing. Saturday. You know. Kaysen's like still watching TV. Kaysen ain't paying no mind. You know when he watching TV, he watching TV. Right Kaysen? <laughs> You watch the TV. <laughs> yes, guys. So we're literally heading out to the door. Brand just got Casey ready. And yeah, so we're going to head out All now, right. now, now. Like literally now, now. No more in the house. So stay tuned. won't be too long. See you in a few seconds. Right now, Brian's outside cleaning my car as me and Kaysen wait here inside. Because uh, we haven't, well, I haven't drove for like five days. So my car is like packed with snow right now. But outside is not too bad. As you guys can see, it's not too bad. So once he's finished, we're gonna head inside. As you can tell, he's almost finished.
So guys, we're in the old port. We finally reached the old port. It's a place called Mini Mongo. This Mini place Mondo. here. It's nice inside. It's called Mini Mongo or Mini Mondo, sorry. It literally has like a location for the kids to play. Kind of like a little jungle gym, you could say. And this is pretty cool, guys. You got like the dinosaur right there. Got some planets and things. More educational. Great place to bring the kids for um. Little man. A great place to bring the kids for a little yep. outing, you know. Kids will probably love it, even though he won't know what's really going on with the planets and stuff and all the animals. Oh, he'll get to love nice it. Nice for him to see. Oh yeah, he'll get to enjoy. Going from here. Yeah, I think because it's his next door. All right, guys. The pool. Whoa! Oh I almost slipped right there. Okay, said. Next he door it says. Slipped. So we're gonna look from. We're gonna look from there. Okay, said. I almost slipped. I'm up. We even got a car up in here. I guess Volvo. Volvo. Yeah. That's probably just for the scenery or maybe you can win it. Who knows? I have I no idea. But this is the IMAX Telus. So this is exactly what it was. And you buy your popcorn, your tickets and everything over there. And that's exactly how it looks guys. Very beautiful. You got the stars and everything like that. You got IMAX right over there yeah you get a little informational desk kiosk right here telling you exactly how it looks how bad is it every 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 week they have something i don't know good question maybe you can ask him i don't know i i didn't ask her but i just know right now it's dinosaurs yeah so that's how it looks guys you got the imax right over there that's exactly what it looks like. So you got the French version, English version, cooking meals, nice for the kids, very educational. Release the gas. What happens? Oh. Okay. Got this over here. Renewable gas. Natural gas. So you got the French version over here, guys. I just know we're in Quebec. And you got the English version on this side. So if you guys are ever in Montreal and you want to bring the kids on a field trip, very educational place, come to Mini Mondo. Mini Mondo. And uh, they also have the IMAX, which I showed you guys earlier. They have the IMAX, where it's, they always have like a 30 minutes um, little documentary on different different topics sometimes it could be planet sometimes it could be animals today specifically they have it on dinosaurs so i'm going to show you guys a little bit of that if i can if i cannot maybe next yeah, time oh speaking about dinosaurs they got dinosaur right over here which this is pretty nice yeah. oh they got this over here oh this is blue Blue from um, is it blue from the Jurassic Park? Yeah. Don't lean on it now. Okay, so look, dinosaur. Listen, listen. Look. It's not. It's not cool. Look at the tail wiggles. It's kind of freaky though. It seems like it's actually said hi to you. <laughs> Kason, is it dinosaur? <laughs> He's got his scary one in his head. Is it dinosaur, Kason? Hello. What does it say down there? So it gives you a little information. 
Is it in French as well? Uh, French and English. Okay. As I mentioned, you guys can see a bit. It does look like blue though, but it's not blue. The oh, Brian, <laughs> it, it's not. Blue. It's not blue from Jurassic Park, but it looks like blue from Jurassic Park. Casey, you like it? Or? <laughs> it's saying hi. Casey not liking it? No? Yeah, he doesn't like it. <laughs> Alright, so Casey actually uh, got scared of the dinosaur there for a minute. They actually have another one outside. We're gonna see if we can show you guys that one. It is kind of dark, but Casey is crying right now, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Now this is the big one I was talking to you guys about. Case is inside with Brian because we don't want to scare him. But this is the big one guys. They have him locked up in the cage outside. But I'll, I'll do it apart guys. The exhibition that they're having is on dinosaurs so that's the reason why there's dinosaurs like literally everywhere at the old port because that is the theme. And here they have some information on dinosaurs. So like I said, if you guys have kids, and or even not, you don't even have to be a kid to come here. It's just uh, very informational, very educational. And like I mentioned, it's in English and French. This is the front view of how it looks. And over there is normally where they have the boats in the summertime. That is where they have the first wheel. We might head down there later on if it's not too cold and if it doesn't get too dark. But the first wheel is over there, along with a lot of outside stores. But right now, the outside stores are most likely closed. But uh, in the summertime, they normally have the outside stores open up until 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. That is. So. I'm just giving you guys a little brief summary of um, how the old port normally will look in the winter time. So if you guys are ever in the area, feel free. Definitely a nice tourist area, very um, attracting. So with that being said, I'm gonna head back inside. See Brian and them inside there waiting for me, and show you guys a little bit more of what's going on inside. See you guys in a few minutes. Yeah. Oh, you're so dark. Nice place. Huh? We got yeah. some uh, food court over here. Food court here. They are gonna have chocolate. Over here, I think, is where you the buy tickets. the tickets for the movies. The documentary. I keep calling it movies. It's really not a movie, guys. It's a documentary. I, I think the lady is new too. She doesn't really Rina. know either. The lady is new. She takes yeah, the kids yeah. are so friendly. Yeah, they are. They kept touching case and they're like, don't cry, baby, don't cry. Guess it, this is your big friend Lizzie, yeah? So the place is called Mini Mondu. That's how exactly yeah, that's it looks right there. Mini. They give you a little floor map, guys, if you guys are ever lost. Ooh, it's bright. All right, there you go. It's called Centre des Sciences. It's, a, it's French. I don't know how to translate that in English, but... They have the first floor second floor and they give you a little diagram of everything they have in here huh you want to go upstairs or you want to go straight down yeah just right. see what else we we'll go straight down to discover in case there's other things okay but i think they close at 4 p.m so we got here around three o'clock oh it's dark we got here around yeah we got here around 3 o'clock, so we don't have much time. But... It started at 12. Yeah, it started at 12, but it finished at 4. And it closed, they closed later at 4, 4.30. That's what the lady told me. But if you want to come from here to watch them, Alex, you have to come something that he's not going to like. 
we gotta wait until case is about yeah, three years old where his uh, attention span That's is much longer because after 10 minutes she's not gonna want to oh, sit man. there and watch this <laughs> right Kason? Hi, it's baby. okay Yes guys, we had a good time there. A little bit of something new exhibition going on in the old port. Old Montreal, that's what it was before, so but now it's the old port. <laughs> hey son, you tell him you you get scared of the dinosaur? Kissing it. Kissing said, I wanna leave mommy. I wanna leave daddy. He's not too happy, right Kason? Baby. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You okay? You good, baby? You want some apple juice? You like some juice? Yeah. Yeah, guys. So as I mentioned earlier, they're about yeah. to close. As you can see, Mom? a lot of a lot of people are leaving right hey, now. Mom? Mom? So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. We're gonna see where else we can show you guys. But uh, it is getting dark right now outside, so the visibility might be poor. So we'll see what we can do for you guys. But with that being said, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Because what if we didn't bring him in there now and he start opening up his mouth too? <laughs> so everything is all about dinosaurs. It's an see, look, exhibition look, look, look for look dinosaurs. Look. Ooh, it's the same that. way the movie blew. Yeah. Remember the one that they had in the woods? And they were feeding him and then he get, started getting bad? Same idea. Whew. I love to be. Oh my god. Whoa. You just slipped. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm taking a chance. I'm more like, I, I love skating, but here am I skating with the shoes. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's, the lights are all the way over there. See all that? That's all. This is this other we, section of the old port. With the school, with the school I don't know. Where they have the house over there. That's but you know what? We should probably do a part two, because there's a lot to show you guys at the old port. Yeah, but when the weather is like start to get pretty nice, you yeah. Yeah. But we just wanted to show them a little bit of how it's like in the winter time. This they is do the have mini. a skating ring, though. This is the mini. But one when the weather is, is nice. We're gonna show you the skittering of the old port house like. So this is the mini Mondu I was telling you guys about earlier. So this is the section where the kids will go. It's like a little jungle gym in there. It's literally connected to the uh, exhibition you the side. You have the keys? So every, yeah, I have the keys. Oh. So everything is connected into one building, guys. You don't have to come out. This is all one building, all one building right here. So mini mondus for the little kiddos like Kaysen to go in, explore, jump around, and all that good stuff. Where do we park now? Oh, we park right here. You know what I have to get? I have to get that thing from Canadian Tire so you can go down with the snow with Kaysen. Like you sit on it and you just slide down with it. You, you know want that? a toboggan? No, you know that thing like it's like flat. I used to have Kilish a long time ago. It's not toboggan? No, it's like it's like a it's like something that like a cover, but it's not a. You sit on it and then you just go on a hill. Is and it? Then, it's like a, is it a circle? Is it is it straight? Straight, straight. Okay. It's just like a straight thing that look like a cover. You sit on it with him. When the weather nice and if there's a lot of snow, you just go down the hill. So it's like I think you're talking about toboggan though, like a slide, a sled. Well, yeah, sled. Yeah. Okay. And then you just Ooh, slide over there. I really like it over there. Okay. I don't know if I can show but, you guys. Okay. You have to, can we go up there? I don't know if we can go over there. Um, no, but you would not to walk to go. You can't walk. You have to drive. I don't know if you could drive to go up there. I don't know. I think those are boats, right? Are those boats? Huh? Are those boats? Where? Over there. Now? The lights. The lights. Where the lights coming no, from? Are the, those? That's the um, the what you call? I think that's the. This is what we're looking at, guys. Boat. I think this is the um, haunted house. Not haunted house. There's lights over there. What do you on call the other that place the again? 
right uh, now what do you call a place that uh, that you have to that is like uh, you have to figure out your um how to get the maze out. maze yeah. oh that's the maze okay that's the maze over there. Yeah. could be the maze yeah like you okay. said we haven't came here in the winter time so we have no idea of uh what is what they change up everything everything change up summer times they have different activities winter time there's different but activities this always open I just this know. is uh definitely always open so if you guys ever want to go to the ex exhibition it's just that they have different um theme and like i mentioned right now it is dinosaurs the lady said normally the theme lasts about eight months and then they switch it up so uh, right now it's dinosaurs and if ever you guys looking for parking there is parking as you guys can see well, it's not for free though <laughs> <laughs> not for free <laughs> don't think oh, not that for free pockets, but, but uh, uh to, to to be um <laughs> transfer with you guys the parking uh I believe it was zero to sixty minutes, so zero to an hour was fifteen dollars. So, um, starting from that, think about that. So, uh, but there is parking. The parking is literally right here, right in the mouth of the place. So you park right over here, and you go over to the next side, and you're in. So, pretty convenient. Not much of a walking to do. So, we're gonna put Casey in. And we'll see what else we're gonna do for you guys. See if we can show you some other parts of the old port. Because as I mentioned, the old port is very, very big. Very big, huge. Yeah, like you know what was the old port, right? The old port was old Montreal. Right? This yeah. is what Montreal if was. If you guys haven't seen, you know what? I probably link it. I'll probably link that video in this video. Because we have done a video on old Montreal. I think we did. Um, maybe about three, four years ago. We fuss. So I'm gonna put that into this video and you guys can check that out as well. Cause we did actually show you guys huh. a more significant um, amount of um, clips of how the old port actually looks like in the summertime though. So I think we did. you guys can check that out. And you know, as you guys are enjoying this one. So with that being said guys, we're gonna go inside my hands is freezing and i gotta buckle up my little man case inside the car right now so with that being said we'll see you guys in a few minutes guys so we are back at home ah. yeah. yeah so we went out and we do our thing ah. yeah who is that ah. yeah. <laughs> that's my little man there so we got a glimpse of what outside was and a little bit of what was going on at the old port little man you want to say something uh -uh. You know the baby troops? Huh? You wanna send baby troops? I was in the old port, we took a drive out. Hmm? And you get to see the dinosaur? Okay, son. So I got to see the dinosaurs. Yeah, guys. So now, we're back in the house. And getting ready now to just get do what we normally do. Comment down below. Let us know if you want to see a little bit more of those footage that we show you guys from the video. If you watch this video, you will know what we're talking about. Everything that's going on in the old port. And guys, don't forget, if you go all the way back from when we were doing a lot of 
vlogging from before, we also took photos of the old port, old Montreal. And giving you guys a little bit of what they call history. So now, get them. Give my Mmm. Good daddy. Good daddy. Mmm. Good daddy, Jackie. Mmm. Where's the ball? You wanna do some dunking? Yes, then. Can do some dunk. Yes, then. Where's the ball? Get the ball to dunk. Huh? You wanna get the ball to dunk? Where's the ball? Look, look, look. Kiss him. The ball? The ball. Take Show them you're gonna be the next. Ah! The next Jordan. Can we get the ball? You get it? Good. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I come. Yeah. Look, look. Ah. Hey, you gonna come get it? You gonna come get it? Look, look, put it on the net. You dancing? Get the ball. Guys, by the way, he doesn't bust some moves when he's ready, yeah? Yes, then. You gotta eat? Eat, eat. Okay, guys. Eat, eat. eat so, eat. since we are back now, I guess we're gonna. Are we gonna eat, eat? Get something, get him. Something to eat, relax, and then I don't know what my honey wants to to Cut. do. Cut Maybe a little bit later. Come on. You know. I'm gonna dish out his food. Oh, okay. Come. So guys, stay tuned. You're looking stay tuned for a little bit more footage a little bit later, and then after that, you know, we'll close it up as we always say. <laughs> Look at that, guys. So, Kason got some potatoes. I'm gonna mash it for him, though. I'm gonna mash some. Are you gonna it, but I'm gonna mash it for him. Mm. And then he yeah. loves his fish, but the only thing is, is that he's not a big fan of mashed potatoes or a whole potato itself. So, what I'm gonna do here is blend it a little bit with the the salmon here we got. And normally, yes, that does the trick because otherwise. Kaysen, he doesn't like mashed potatoes, he doesn't really like pastas, he doesn't like rice, so he will maybe eat like two or three spoon of it, but he won't actually finish the whole container or bowl that he has been served. So the trick to it, we kind of either try to blend it up with some of something that he likes, so chicken, fish, you know, beef, those are his extreme favorite to eat you know and um on the side when it comes to the starch he, he's not a big fan of it you know so i mean he can't just eat meat all the time with nothing else along with it so we kind of just do that for him you know so right now i've got a little bit of the magic bullet so i am definitely gonna blend it just a little bit so he doesn't really taste that much of the potato and like I said, we do the same thing with pastas and rice for him until he adapts to the point that he enjoys just the... I think it, maybe, it might be the texture in his mouth. I think the texture of the rice, he doesn't like the grains in his mouth maybe. And same thing with the macaroni and, and spaghettis and things like that. He doesn't really like it. Like the moment, he, he, the moment it's in his mouth, he kind of like... You know when you have wine, you kind of like sweat all over your mouth. You're like... And then he feels that texture, he spits it right back out. He will keep the meat, but he'll spit the pasta out, the rice out. But when it comes to meat and vegetables, that he would definitely like. Right, Kaysen? Eat, eat. You're gonna eat? Here's a time to eat, baby. 
Okay, mommy's gonna prepare it for you and then you're gonna eat, okay? All right, so I'm gonna feed little man here and we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Oh guys, see? So this is how it came out. It's a bit puree, not too much, but just to the point where the potato is not as thick, the mashed potato. He doesn't like it when it's too clumpy. guys all right guys so Casey's stomach is full he ate off more than half of his food you did that you did that you did that you, ate off. you have all your food what was you the food baby <laughs> he excited. He's full of energy. Now you know when your boy, when when Casey is full, he's full of energy. Casey, where does that ball go? You gonna show them where it goes? This is one of his toys he got for Christmas from you guys, and he's in love with it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where did it go? Did you open up all the boxes down yet? Uh, yeah, oh no, this is huh? this is your basketball. It's the mini one. Where's the other one? Uh, yeah, let me see if I can get it for you, Kason. Alright, success. So, I got it for him. Kason, here. That ball is the wrong ball. That one is for the small basketball net. Remember the small basketball net you had over there? That's what it's for. This is the wrong ball. Here you go. So he's supposed to put it down, he's supposed to go around, and then he's supposed to figure out how to get it. So there's three different doors. This one opens like this. This one opens as such. And he definitely knows how it works. Okay, so you're gonna put it where's in the again? ball? You're gonna try it again? Show them how it's done. Show them how the pro does it, Kason. Show them how it's done. Push it down. Good job. Woo! Show them how it's open. Wow, look at you. Look at you. You gonna open and get the ball? Good job. High five, Kason. Yay, high five. Again? Yeah? Okay, push it down. Push it all the way down. All the way. There you go. Good job. High five. All right, so with that being said, guys, ah, your girl is hungry. Brian's already up in the kitchen feeding him face. As always. He's about to go feed him Steve. Guys, you as see? always, in the kitchen, right? <laughs> yeah, you see the difference? When I'm in the kitchen, he's not recording. But when he's in the kitchen, who's recording? <laughs> I was just Okay. <laughs> All right. Nice. Look at look at Casey over there. What are you trying to get underneath the couch? What are you trying to get underneath the couch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to get? Hmm? Oh, okay. You want your pacifier? That's that that was it? Your pacifier? Alright, you got it. Alright, so I'm going to go dish up myself. 
some rice and some salmon as you know because Kaysen definitely had to eat first so now that he's ate and his stomach is full I'm going to go feed my face so I hope you guys enjoy this video guys give um, us two thumbs up and don't forget guys to share the videos and give us as much like at least give us 50 likes at least, at least, at least 50 likes. So We're without, not asking for too much. <laughs> We're definitely not asking for too much. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we're definitely going to do a part two because, as mentioned earlier, we did not get to do the whole of the entire old Montreal, now called Old Port. So with that being said, I am going to, like I mentioned earlier, I am going to put the link to the first, um, the first video we done um at the old port and we actually went in depth, a, a, which I mentioned. more in depth we went, we went more in depth yes but like i said that was like about three years ago roughly don't no, don't, don't 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 well, that was before the pandemic yeah it was before the pandemic so it was about, roughly about three years ago but um the scenery still looks the same roughly so you guys can go check that out if you definitely want to see how the old port is and you haven't been to montreal you never know nothing about the old port definitely go check out that video so i'm definitely going to put it somewhere up here or in the previous clip as i mentioned earlier so yeah so with that being said guys um we're gonna end out this video and like Brian said earlier, give this video a nice thumbs up. Give us a nice thumbs up. And share the video to your friends, your family members. Stick with a baby jokes. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And we love you guys. Kiss and love you guys. And honey, love you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> and Kiss is like, don't leave me out. I know you guys are going to end the video. <laughs> 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 All right, you want to come? Ah, come. One, two, three, hop. Okay. So, without being said, guys, like what we always say in every video, it's the end of the, the video. Peace, love, and unity. <laughs> I was like, wait. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. Peace, love, and unity. Baby troops, all the way. Peace, 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 pe